Good morning, good morning and a welcome into the show ladies and gentlemen. My name is Truck Rudy here on YouTube and we make daily vlogs guys just like you see right now but we also have family vlogs at home with the family and all that good stuff. But hey, today we're sitting in Calgary, Alberta and we're waiting on a reload. I'm just putting in all my video files into the computer. It looks like it just finished from that camera right there and uh yeah so i'm rendering another video here for you guys right there it is right there it is and we haven't gotten no reload offer let me show you guys if this thing will actually not blind you guys too much there we go it says no messages yet so i figured since my truck is fairly dirty already i don't know if the camera actually shows it let me show you guys right there you guys see that I'm way overdue for a uh, cleaning of the truck so since we don't have no load I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the vacuum cleaner out from the underneath the bunk here and start vacuum everything and wiping everything down I think I'm way overdue and because everything is black like you see it seems to pick up dust way easier you see that right here there's always dust right there it, it just crazy this black color just picks it up just like that it's like you can clean it one day and the next day it looks the same as it did the day before so for the last couple of weeks i haven't really been cleaning it all i have been kind of busy too so i'm gonna go ahead and get around to doing it right now let's get to it roll truck roll down the interstate Grab another gear for another day's pay. Five weeks on the roads have been rough. Two more to go before he can let up. Gotta keep the monkey off of his back. It's a fact. He's a working class. Grips that wheel with his callous hands. Nothing he's got was handed to him All chickens out of Arkansas when he was green With a worn out cracker box of GMC Now with a tricked out peen he cuts a new path He earned it man He's a working class Alright guys I hope you enjoyed my little cleaning time lapse there as you guys can see we have now cleaned everything nicely up over here from what I can say anyways yeah put everything back away now everything is nice and clean again up here at least I like to think so so I guess uh, it's time for me to go ahead and call dispatch and find out what's taken so long and uh, yeah, maybe I'll go in and have me breakfast first. We'll see. We'll see. I know the husky has got okay breakfast, so I might just do that. Go in here in a minute and see if we got any kind of good breakfast going on before they all of a sudden want me to, uh, you know, hammer down and get somewhere before yesterday, right? <laughs> Anyways, I put everything away, so now we're good to go again for a while, hopefully. Alrighty, guys. I think I'm going to go inside and go for breakfast. Look at that truck, looking super, super dirty already from driving in all this mess, but hey, at least we got nice sunshine today, right? That's right. And there really isn't any wind to speak of out there. You guys see that Canadian flag? It's hardly even waving. But there is some geese flying up there. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. There's coming a few more coming over there, but yeah, a beautiful, beautiful day out here today yeah i enjoy it so let's go inside and grab us some breakfast what do you guys think after all that hard work cleaning my truck we're due for breakfast all right it's time for breakfast so that's how we'll look on what we're having oh today we're having a little bit of a different breakfast guys look at that we got like burrito type breakfast today it's like a mexican style kind of so a little bit of a toast, cup of coffee, and we're good to go. Finally got me a reload, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, they uh, had a day cab here uh, 
go somewhere and I don't know what was causing my GoPros to uh, quit recording for some odd weird reason I was charging my uh, my 7 because it used quite a bit of battery juice this morning when I did that time lapse there and I was charging it so maybe that was causing it to interfere with my recording or whatever but what I was trying to say is they had a day cab go and pick up a preloaded trailer and uh, so now I went and picked it up from the terminal and so uh, now I'm heading towards uh, towards uh, uh, Saskatoon I got two deliveries for Saskatoon and then uh, one drop for Regina, so we got us a little ways to go. We got 627 kilometers to go, so which is a little ways. I have now turned onto Highway 9. I know my GPS didn't really want me going down this way, but uh, I was talking to a few friends of mine before I even took this load, and or before I even uh, left with this load is what I meant to say and they told me to go down highway 9 and uh, my GPS wanted me to go further down the road and I think catch 21 over there but uh, I figured I'll go down this way seems like it's a good road so we're going to be traveling quite a bit of back road up here but at least we're getting down the road right that's the main thing plus as far as I know we might have a better chance of actually seeing some wildlife up here too right so who knows maybe I get lucky again and maybe I get to uh, see some more animals again right I missed an opportunity yesterday to take a really nice picture of an owl and so hopefully maybe one of these days I can capture me a beautiful picture of an owl that would be amazing if I could do that the one that I saw yesterday, I kid you not, it was probably this big. It was a huge one. Beautiful, beautiful uh, owl, but, you know, I pulled her over and he was sitting right there, like on the right hand side there, on the post, right on the hydro post. But as soon as I pulled my air brakes, I guess it scared it away, and I know it's quite loud, right? So, uh, it scared it away and it took off on me, and. I managed to grab my camera and zoom in real quick just sitting here and as it flew away I got one picture that kind of is okay but and I did post it on Instagram but you know wasn't wasn't very good right would have been much nicer if it stayed sitting up on the on the post and I could have taken a nice picture of it right like going down this way would be perfect because the sun, the sun is coming right on an angle like that and if it was sitting up there on the post right now, be beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, that's for sure. Because when the light shines on it, you get a better exposure of the of the bird, right? But anyways, let's get on down the road and uh, we we're supposed to be there at the first delivery tomorrow at 8 a.m. in the morning already. Which means I'm gonna have to drive fairly late tonight, but Oh well, that's just how it goes. I probably won't be in Saskatoon until 10 o'clock tonight. Which, you know, in all reality, that's exactly 10 hours till 8 o'clock in the morning. But, I have to be there at 8 already. So, I'm probably only going to be able to take a 9 hour break. Which, here in Canada, we are allowed to do that. We only require 8 hour break. And then you do your 15 minute pre-trip. So technically eight and a quarter hours and you can get going again, but yeah, well, whatever. That means we're gonna have to keep that left door closed and hammer down, hammer down, which I have no problem with. We've been sitting all day. Mind you, I did work a little bit cleaning my truck, which, you know, that was definitely worth it. Now it's nice and clean in here again. Yeah, guys, I got lucky just a little bit onto this Highway 9 up here and I saw that white owl sitting on top of a light post that was uh, on the edge of the road 
I guess it was because there's an intersection there and there's a light post on top there and like over the road and it, the light is like shining onto the road kind of deal and he was sitting right there on top and I saw him on time I pulled her over I had just barely enough room to pull her over and uh, managed to grab me quite a few pictures of him and uh, hopefully there's going to be a few good ones in there and I look over to the left and there was several other guys sitting there uh, that I'd gotten there with the car and they had even way bigger lenses than I had and they were sitting there taking pictures of that owl as well but yeah look at this this is kind of what I was talking about before Saskatchewan they got pretty much no trees they got a few bushes here and there as far as you guys can see right nothing no trees whatsoever this is pretty much desert up here but anyways I am super stoked that I did manage to get a picture of it so that is awesome I love it all right we got one of these uh, deep deep valleys up here in Saskatchewan so we are even had to do a brake check on top of it and uh, yeah you wouldn't expect this in Saskatchewan right but there is actually some valleys up here yeah, now we're almost at the bottom of it, it looks like, so, uh, yeah, it is, I don't know what percentage it really is, it doesn't really say, but these are weird looking mountains up here, so, figured, yeah, I'll give you guys a little view of it and show you on what it looks like, right, why not, why not, oh, we even have a little bit of a river here at the bottom, which is to be expected when you have a valley, right? Looks like this is a fairly old bridge up here too. It really does look like it. Oh well, maybe they're planning on rebuilding another one there or building another one it looks like up there, yeah. That's what it actually looks like. Red River, no Red, what did it say, Red Deer River or something like that? I'm not 100% sure exactly what it said but, but yeah, anyways. These are definitely different looking uh, mountains up here, that's for sure. So, let's climb back over it and uh, we should be A-OK -okay to go. We even have a passing lane up here, can you believe that? <laughs> well, let me put my uh, four-way flashers on so this way people know behind me that I'm going slower. Which I'm guessing I'm going faster than this truck here, but... He doesn't have his four ways on and you're technically supposed to. Whenever you're a slower moving vehicle, you're supposed to have your four ways on, right? But hey, some people don't do it. I always do it. It's a nice gesture anyways, especially if a four wheeler is coming up pretty hot behind you and you know, he might be texting or something looking down or whatever, right? And if he doesn't look up and he doesn't see the flashing lights, he might think you're still going the same speed as him, right? If you got your four-way flashers on, then at least it uh, might ding on him. Oh, maybe he's going slower, right? Or at least if something is flashing, it will grab his attention, right? So, yeah, that's always why I do it. But anyways, we're still a long ways away from getting to Saskatoon, but we'll get there tonight hopefully I have decided to call it a day guys and I'm not in Saskatoon yet but uh, let's take a look guys you guys see that how much ice we've gotten on our mirrors yeah so I have decided to call it a day I'm done for today it's really ice foggy out there let me show you guys here you guys see how badly these lights, you know, how much ice they build up on these darn lights. Look at that. There's like, you can hardly even see through these lights because there is so much ice built up on them. Yeah, you see all of this here? That's all ice built up just from driving, right? Look at this and the screen and everything. You see how much ice we have built up in there? That's just from all this ice fog. You guys see that even there by the lights? You see all the fog and everything. And this is the kind of truck stop that we have here. I know you guys can't really see much, but 
there really isn't anything to park but there is a, like a card lock kind of uh gas station or you know fueling station i guess the trucks can fuel here but there really isn't no parking that you can park so what i kind of did is i just kind of parked alongside the curve up here and i see a couple of other trucks are doing the same thing over there i don't know if you guys can see it and another truck just pulled in over here and he's parked right over there you guys see his tail lights right there the red ones over there he just went and parked over there himself so i sent this batch a message and i said sorry but it's no longer safe for me to continue traveling i've been doing like 40 45 miles an hour and even that is kind of pushing it so i just want to check sometimes these things here they i gotta give him a tap there but i'm just gonna go see how my tail lights are i'm pretty sure the tail lights are not covered but yeah so we kind of colder quits for today i'm done i'm no longer gonna risk it trying to get down there i still have about 100 miles to go and yeah, my tail lights are fine yeah you guys see that how i'm parked here on the curve yeah oh well anyway so i said oh, i'm just gonna quit driving take my my break and uh continue on tomorrow i don't care if i'm not there on time that's just how it goes the work the load is not worth it let's put it to you that way and i told him also if it's uh when i get up in the morning if it's still dark and it's still ice fogging i'm not taking off i wait till i get daylight so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and get out of here appreciate you guys watching and come back and see what we're up to tomorrow so have a great day and uh, we'll see you all back here tomorrow.